When there are too many choices, often no choice is made at all. My wife and I experienced this firsthand when we were recently shopping for a new car. There were so many different cars that we looked at, but the easiest decision for us to make was to stick with the status quo and make no decisions. Now, this is not limited just to people who are purchasing cars. As a matter of fact, in the year 2000, there was a study conducted in a grocery store of all places that was called the JAM experiment. And in the JAM experiment, there were two different arms of the trial. The first arm had 24 different jams for customers to try. The other arm had six different jams for customers to try. And in the group where there was 24 different options, more choice, more freedoms, only 3% of the customers made a decision to purchase jam. And in the group where there were six different options, 30% of the customers made a decision to purchase the jam. There was a tenfold increase in the number of purchases of jam by limiting the choices that were available. Why does this happen? Well, one explanation is, is there is a fear of making the wrong decision. When you have more choices and you make that wrong choice, whose fault is it? It is your fault for making that wrong decision. And we feel that when we're making those decisions. So how do we get over that fear of making a wrong decision? Well, the way that my wife and I got over that fear when we were looking for a new car is we created a framework of being able to look at what were the three most important characteristics that we wanted in a car, and then making a decision based off of those three characteristics, which limited our options down to three options versus over 20 different options. And that allowed us to really cone in on what was most important for us based off of our goals, based off of our family, and based off of our future. And when we're in those situations where we're making those decisions for ourselves in the future, or if we're trying to help somebody else make a decision that would be best for them, creating a framework to help limit those choices could be the best thing that you do for yourself and for others.